Hello guys, in this video I want to show you an example of a table with dynamic columns. For example, if you have table of products with countries being dynamic from other resource. So for example, if I add a new country here, like Italy for example, then in the products table that country appears as a column. And then each cell is a checkbox column where you can check what country is active for specific products in a pivot table would be saved like this. And this example comes from official filament discord where we had a question like this. I have this model product table country and a toggle button. So we decided to answer that question and we did on the forum also publish that example on our filamentexamples.com as a new project. And in this video, I will show you the code inside. So if we go to the products table of that resource of products, the main part is this return table. And this is typical filament, nothing really fancy here. But this is the main dynamic part. Country columns is built on top. Look at this. So we have country all from the database. Then we have Laravel collection method map. So each country becomes a column. So each country returns checkbox column. And then each of those checkbox columns has its own behavior. So first state checked or not, it should return Boolean. This is the condition record, which is product has relationship contains or not. This is many to many operation. And then when the checkbox is checked, then we have this update state using and state is a Boolean value in case of checkbox columns. So if it's true, then we create the record. Otherwise, we delete the record from that table, which is actually a model. So it's not really a pivot table. It's more like two belongs to relationships because in this case, it's very likely for that table to contain more data about price for each country and something like that. So we separated that into a separate model, but it could be also a typical pivot table. And by the way, the syntax dot 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 with variable name, it's often called splat operator in the official PHP documentation in 5.6. It was released variadic functions via dot dot dot. So basically you can add a parameter to the function where you don't really know what will be the parameters inside and how many will there be, which allows you to call the function with all those options and those will still work. So this is another example. You can pass the parameter and then all the other parameters as array with dot, dot, dot. And this is also known as splat operator in other languages. In PHP language, this is not called splat. Officially, it's called argument unpacking or variadic functions. I don't really like that name, but it is what it is. I prefer to call it splat anyway. So yeah, this is a quick example. If you want the full source code, it is available on filamentexamples.com as well as other 77 projects at the time of shooting this video. So you purchase the membership and get the access to all in one repository, which I recently realized has an interesting benefit. So for example, this is the repository and this is the exact folder that you can navigate to the exact folder that I'm showing the project for. This is a full Laravel project with filament with documentation. But what I realized is GitHub search here is very powerful. So if I want to answer some question on filament discord or YouTube comment or something, and I don't remember which project contains the example of something because we have, as I showed you 77 projects, so I don't remember each of them, I can type in something on GitHub. For example, if I'm searching for examples of table filters, then I can already see table with complex filters as example as name of the project. Or for certain syntax, same checkbox column, for example, it doesn't show anything immediately. But if you search in this directory, it would show the specific files, which will lead me to a specific project with example. So this is kind of like Google search, but inside of 77 projects of filament. So yeah, I'm biased here, but totally worth purchasing in my opinion. The link will be in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.